scientists in general tend to stay away from political and ethical debates. But more and more political and ethical questions, especially in the 21st century, depend on scientific knowledge, on knowing the scientific facts and theories. Examples range from global warming to the rise of artificial intelligence and genetic engineering. You can have different opinions about these matters, but if you don't know the scientific facts, your opinions shouldn't count for much. And scientists should, should accept greater political and ethical responsibility. They should know that in this context, silence is also a political statement. If scientists know something important, which is relevant, to a current political debate, and they choose not to say it publicly. This is also an ethical choice. Of course, science cannot decide ethical questions. It's not the role of science. But science can decide factual questions. Science never tells us what is good. It can only tell us what is real, what is true. Unfortunately, far too many ethical discussions, especially about animals, get stuck on the level of facts. And science can therefore be very helpful in helping these discussions move forward. Can animals suffer at all? And secondly, do animals suffer in practice? For example, do dairy cows suffer when they are separated from their calves? You often hear people who are engaged in these ethical and political discussions saying things such as, cows cannot experience pain, or Cows aren't sad when you separate them from their calves because they simply cannot experience sadness. This is a human emotion, and it's humanizing the cows to say that they can be sad. Or some, sometimes people say, if you think that cows can experience pain, then what about lettuce? Maybe lettuce also experiences pain. So we shouldn't cut lettuce and we shouldn't eat lettuce. Such statements, which can often be heard in the debate about the welfare of animals, reflect scientific ignorance. There is certainly a place for different ethical views concerning our treatment of dairy cows, but only on the basis of scientific facts. People are entitled to have their own views, but they are not entitled to have their own facts. Consider the question, is it okay to inflict pain on cows in order to provide pleasure for human beings? You can have different ethical views about this question. But arguing that cows just cannot experience pain is no longer a legitimate part of the discussion, not in 2017. So as of 2017, to the best of our scientific understanding, what are the facts? So first and most important, the scientific understanding in 2017 is that all mammals and all birds and probably at least some reptiles and fish and other organisms are conscious, sentient beings. They all have the capacity to experience sensations and emotions. In contrast, we have absolutely no evidence and no scientific reason to think that lettuce or tomatoes can feel pain or can experience fear. Another important fact is that mammals and birds, they can feel not just you know, pain and pleasure, but they have a very complex world of sensations and emotions. It is, of course, likely that some emotions are unique to humans. For example, guilt, as far as we know, might be an emotion which only humans have, and not baboons or cows or chickens. It is also likely, of course, that there are some other emotions that are unique, say, to whales, and that humans don't have these emotions, and we just have no idea what they are. However, the basic emotions, like fear, are probably common to all mammals and birds. Another very important and common emotion is motherly love, the bond between mother and offspring. Without a strong emotional bond between mother and offspring, no mammal can survive and reproduce. Whether you are a giraffe, or a baboon, or a dolphin, or a mouse, if there is no bond between the mother and the offspring, in the case of mammals, the offspring will not survive because they depend on the milk and on the care of the mother for at least a few weeks, if not months and years. Uh, yet even though science now tells us very clearly that this emotion of mother-offspring bond 
is common to all mammals, we ignore it outside the scientific context, in the context of industrial farming. The entire dairy industry is built on breaking this most basic bond of the mammal kingdom, the bond between mother and offspring. A cow will not give milk unless you first get her pregnant and it gives birth to a small calf. But then if you allow the calf to stick around and drink the milk, you won't have anything for the dairy industry. So the entire dairy industry is built on getting cows pregnant, and then when they give birth, separating the mother from the offspring, usually uh, fattening up the calves and slaughtering them, and milking the cow until she dries up, and then you get her pregnant again and start another cycle. Uh, to the best of our understanding, this is likely to cause a lot of misery, a lot of emotional pain to both the mother and the offspring. When it comes to humans, we indulge our desires and urges, even if they are unnecessary today. But when it comes to animals, we tend to ignore them. So to conclude, I hope scientists will take a far more active part in the ethical and political discussion about the welfare of animals. They can't decide the ethical questions, but they should clarify the facts, and they should lay to rest ignorant claims such as cows can't, cannot feel pain, or other animals don't have emotions, only humans have emotions. Scientists who know the facts, but choose to remain silent, should know that they are not being neutral. Sil silence in the face of misery is an extreme and very unfortunate ethical choice. Thank you.